How we going guys, the Loot Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here guys, as we saw in my previous video, I did the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition which involves all of these beautiful goodies over here. We get the 24 figurine set, we get the Tricentral Edition and of course the Power Armor Helmet over there with the really nice map. In this video, I want to show you guys all the details of the Survival Guide 76 lovely strategy guide here because of course we want to see all about the interactive maps and checklists and the content updates as well so further ado guys let's check out this book right now and let's check out the details so yeah we have it guys the book in the flesh over here so the survival guide a pretty thick book as you guys can see lots of pages i'll be going through some of this book obviously not all of it because this video will be like three to four hours long but looking in the front here we get interactive maps and checklists content updates as well so i do like the fact that they added a lot of information here so we can see vote to other survival guide at the back over here shows you everything so quest walkthroughs survival above grounds building and crafting multiplayer post apocalyptic atlas and of course we get ourselves a free digital guide access unlock so i'll be giving a free e-guide copy of this guys all you guys gotta tell me is why you love fallout 76 so much and why you believe you should win a free e-guide copy of this so again guys why you believe you should win it and why i should pick you to win this free e-guide so let's unbox this now and sort of unwrap it and see how nice these pages look because of course i've done tons of strategy guides i did a uh, video on the assassin's creed odyssey in case you guys want to check out that guide it looked really really awesome let's unravel this and sort of see exactly what to expect over here let's just take this off nice and gently beautiful it's all off now so the first thing we got over here guys is a really nice looking cover here. as we could see really nice sort of images there can't really complain much on that but let me just show you guys the map because they even included a map with this lovely book here so so you could see over here west virginia and all these sort of checkout locations from this map so you guys get yourselves a lot of content in this 60 dollars book and i can't even show you guys all of it in the video but just look at half of it you guys can see all the zones everything you need in this guide it is absolutely insane so in case you guys are thinking is this guide worth it um looking at all this information here guys absolutely let me fold this up nice and pristine because i am pretty fussy with my loot but yeah guys the full map of west virginia so if you guys want to check this out definitely get this guide but again let me know why you guys believe you should win it let me put that to the side here and let's check out this book here so survival guide smelling nice and fresh at the back nice and clean and smooth let's open this guide up now and sort of see exactly what we get here so of course the first thing we get over here is a forward so of course we i've been playing video games for a very long time i have to admit so a bit of information about the author here this is jeff gardner the project lead manager for the game so over here, as we can sort of see, we get the training, we get the crafting, we get the infantry, all the steps here. So quests, see, these are all the quests. So guys, spoiler alert in case you guys don't want to see this. This will contain so many spoilers, but if you guys want to check this out, please feel free to. So Atlas of, I can't even pronounce that, <laughs> Beast, Beastry, Appendices, and all this information here. Introduction. So this is all the information in this guide. So... As we could see over here, guys, a lot that is happening here. But in case you guys want to just pause any part of this video, please feel free because I won't be going through everything, but just I would say some of it to sort of show you whether it's worth purchasing. So each region is specified in the guide here. But yeah, let's just sort of open this up and sort of see and welcome to West Virginia. So the reclamation begins. So region one, the forest. So it so it shows you. So the region surrounding Vault 76 was known as a forest to the survivors of that place. So still rich in plant and animal life, it is an ideal place to scourge for food and water. So it shows you all about the Toxic Valley. So this region known to survivors, Toxic Valley, is covered by industrial white powder and pop and populated water sources. 
So region, the ashen heap, the factions of West Virginia. So all the different factions, you have Brotherhood of Steel, the Free States, Raiders, the Responders, and so on. So these are all the factions, guys, of this place here. So please, again, feel free to pause this video in case you guys want to just read and see the first beginning of this game. So over here is that status. You will emerge. So the initial preparation for life outside the Vault 76. So of course, you're able to create your character, character creation, the body like Fallout 70, like Fallout 4. Be able to make your own character, even shows you infantry management. The Pip Boy. Optimized viewing portal. Everything here, guys. This is your optimized viewing portal or view, your pip boy. In case you guys don't know what that is, but of course you do know what that is. So it even shows you every part of your section there. Pip boy 2000. Helpful hints on how to use the, the pip boy. Active menu and so on. This is so cool, guys. So all the information you guys need. Pip Boy flashlight. Even gives you examples. The initial interactions. Object interactions. This book is so worth it. I want to be reading this tonight, that's for sure. Possible checkpoints, interactions, so aggressive interactions. So just about anything you need to know about the beginning, in case you guys have never played Fallout 4 or even Fallout Vegas. So this, of course, is all of the training. Useful hints on training. The VAT system, how that works. So very useful for beginners. So in case you guys are beginners, this guide will definitely help you. But let me show you guys a bit more on this book on different sections. What I want to show you guys is the other effects here because this is part of the game that's changed dramatically. And as we know, of course, we get all of the usual effects like strength and charisma. But over here, I want to show you guys the differences because as we know, in Fallout 76, they're using the card system now, which is a lot different than what we're used to seeing. So let me show you guys here. So of course, the strength system has changed and the perks in terms of what you get. So iron fist and so on so it sort of shows you all of the descriptions on each strength perk that you get which are 30 in total so you're also able to stack up your strength points as you guys know from previous gameplay videos so this is really awesome to see and even the additional melee damage as per strength level that you guys increase on so this is really awesome here i thought you guys would probably want to see this because being a full eye game you guys want to know all about the perks that you guys get here so these are the a few new ones here so bandolia so it sort of tells you the advance here so it sort of shows you do you carry around a lot of ammunition range weapons that don't fire energy rounds and so on so this sort of helps you with the amount of weapons that you have that's really nice to know we also get the barbarian over here so everyone likes the armor of everyone likes free armor well, depends on your play style. So this might be better suited to a player who enjoys charging into combat. So even the perks of that as well. So Bear Arms 2, you know, Bashia, all these really cool perks here, guys. So I'm assuming you guys would definitely want to see this part of the guide to sort of see whether you guys would really enjoy getting this guide or not. So Gladiator, Full Charge, Bullet Shield, kind of crazy. All the descriptions here the ranks, the points that you get from them as well. Master Gladiator. This is so cool, guys. So I thought I'd just show you guys this too because I I was very curious to sort of see what perks you get from every different master level that you get here. Lock, Load, Martial, Artist, Iron Fist, you know, Pack Rat, everything is awesome. What the heck is Pack Rat? So Pack Rat over here, this is an exceptional, useful throughout your, your exploration, allowing you to gather a great deal more items that appear in the junk menu of your Pip Boy. So able to create, to gather more junk, which equals more loot, which equals more crafting. 
It's a pain train. So this offers an excellent opening offense in close combat fighting while using power armor. Very useful. Very, very useful. You gotta love these perks, guys. So what's this here? The scatter shot here. So a perfect um, accomplishment to the shotgun perk. This negates the two biggest drawbacks of the shotgun. So, so the shotgun here, all these perks here, expert shotgun here. So every single ranking level. So the sluggers, normal slugger, and then just the master shotgun. So all the cool perks, guys. You've absolutely got to love it, man. This is so useful, especially if you guys want to become a master in Fallout 76, especially being online now with all the online play. So, of course, this, this is your perception. As, as you know what perception does, guys, the perception affects your awareness of nearby enemies, etc. So, the awareness, the butcher bounty, the commando, concentrated fire, and all different levels. The crack shot, exterminator, fire in the hole, green thumb, all the different perks here. Night eyes, night person, night person. So first, it's worth figuring out what the additional intelligence and perception is going to provide. Nice. That is a long ass word. <laughs> Not gonna even try to say it. But yeah, guys, this is so worth it. Perception bubble, lock pick, pick lock, expert. That's probably one of the most biggest perception perks that I love to use is a pick lock. So useful. For radiator, rifleman, all these different perks, guys. Absolutely insane. Sniper, skeet shooter. Ah, that is crazy. Endurance, of course. So, as you guys know, all night long, what does that do? So by the time you reach the level necessary for this perk to become available, you have eaten and drank hundreds of times. So you may be thankful to ignore this aspect of self-maintenance. That sounds pretty awesome. Aqua girl, aqua boy, and so on. So as you guys know, there are tons more different training perks here, guys. So this is just, this only just scraping the surface of the strategy guide. This over here, guys, the weapons tab. Of course, we all want to see what weapons we get because, of course, why does Fallout 76 without weapons, yeah? So, of course, this also explains the damage types as per the weapon that you guys use. But let's have a look and sort of see what weapons we get here. So, of course, we get the guns and projectile overview. This sort of shows you each different energy gun that you get here. The flamer, flay gun, etc. The perk on each card that you sort of equip your gun on. So all the sort of juicy details and what you guys want to know. So even the exotic weapons too. Exotic weapons cover this strange, different, and special. A good rule of thumb is that it can't properly categorize. It's prop. It's probably an exotic weapon. Heavy guns. All the law information about them. Automatic rifles. Perk cards. Everything here, guys. But I want to see these actual guns. And this is what we all want to see, right? The guns. Because this is what us loot people are all about. So we get these guns here. So guns and projectile weapons. So, so the dot .44 pistol. So attachable mod. You're able to attach these different mods to it. So the receiver, the barrel, the grip. submission. So 10 millimeter submachine gun. These are all the perks you're able to add it on to. 10 millimeter pistol. I guess we all used that back in Fallout 4. <laughs> and also the 50 cal machine gun. All the perks you can add on to it, the attachable mods. Anti scorch training pistol, auto grenade launcher. These are all the details of every gun here. So it tells you all about the history, the attachable mods, everything about the guns, guys. So this is what I'm talking about. And this is probably. 80% of the reason why I get strategy guys is to sort of see what kind of exotic weapons you'll be able to get, you know, all the loot that you want to collect, especially if you guys want to survive in this wasteland. So, so just look at all of these weapons here, crossbow, combat rifle, all the attachable mods that you're able to attach to them, so freaking cool. 
Optical barrel shotgun, fat man. Ooh, I remember this gun, fat man. What a good gun. Very slow, but very powerful. So right over here, we also get the flamer. The dragon, enclave plasma gun, flare gun. Look at that, like this is just awesome. Gamma gun, galactic plasma. I want to get all these guns, guys. All the details, all the attachable mods, everything is on, is in this book. So, so worth it. Hunting rifle, lever. I've never seen this gun, lever action rifle, light machine gun. Man, I can't wait until this game finishes downloading. <laughs> it's probably going to take forever, but this is so worth it, guys. M79 grenade launcher, the paddle ball. Oh, paddle ball. So obtained by turning in Mr. Fuzzy's tokens or Camden Park. The paddle ball may be goofy, but it's incredibly fun to use. So paddle ball, hmm, interesting. Don't think I'll be getting that. Minigun, very powerful, but very slow. Pipe both action pistol, missile launcher. All these cool guns, guys. So very cool. As you guys can see, all the guns in the game are in this guide. And I just can't wait until this game finishes downloading. But now we are going to go into the melee weapons now. So check out these melee weapons here, guys. So of course, we get the one-handed melee. And all the mods that we can add to it. The punching weapons. Two-handed melees. Ancient Blade. Whoa, look at that Ancient Blade. It looks pretty sick. So, Rated Blade. So, I'm able to even make this electric as well. Baseball bat, of course. The board. Boxing gloves. <laughs> How useful would that be? Only if it sounds close to you. Binoculars. Blade of Best Set. Comedian Whacker. Really awesome. Chainsaw, oh, this will be crazy. Cultist Blade. Man, all the details here of this. It tells you the weight, the value, everything. So in case you guys pick up any of these, this will be so cool. Guitar Sword, whoa, look at that. So you'll get the expected speed from a one-handed melee weapon, yeah, but with the added bonus of a decent damage value. That is a crazy looking weapon. And there's no mods to that one, unfortunately. We get ourselves an axe and a drill. Ooh, how crazy will that be? Some sort of fatality on a drill. <laughs> so, the lead pipe, machete, meat hook, all these multi-purpose axe, all the stuff here, Mr. Handy, Buzz Blade. Man, this is crazy. A pickaxe. Pipe wrench, we've all used those. Pitchfork, the power fist, yeah. Pull. All these items over here, guys. So many melee weapons. Like, they really added a lot of care into this game, clearly, when it came to weapons. Protest sign. <laughs> of course, there are no mods to that. Revolutionary sword, the wiper, as per the last game. A rolling pin. Sickle, shovel, all the details here, a spear, sledgehammer, so crazy. And so many more weapons, guys. So these are all the grenades. Let's check out the grenades, because I'm assuming you guys definitely want to check out the grenades here. So baseball grenade, dross. Fragment grenade. I used to use tons of those. Throwing knives, tomahawk, pumpkin, all the different grenades as well. So that's pretty cool. Of course, mines and traps. Legendary effects. So, guys, this book is just so overwhelming, but so worth it. Alright, guys, so to finish off this video, I want to show you guys the enemy encounters in this game. So just be prepared to sort of see and what to expect here. So we get the anglers, 
we get the astrolatrons, we get the bee swarms, all these different sorts of enemies here. Because it would be kind of cool to sort of know what to expect there. So the, so the behemoths, the blood, what the blood bugs. We get the bloat flies, all those are disgusting. Of course, these are all sort of old enemies that we know. But in case you guys want to see the new ones, yeah. So the feral ghouls, death claw. It sort of shows you all the weaknesses too, as you guys could see there. So, so the health, the damage resistance, energy resistance, even tells you a bit of information about it. So this guy is really awesome. So typically found in the mine, cave, crickets are more creepy than they are. So I love the fact that they really put a, a lot of care into the background law information and also where to find them. Because of course, what is a strategy guide without location? So honey beasts, hermits, crabs, and so on. All the different looking enemies you get here. So, so cool, like, you know, I would definitely want to know what to expect as soon as this game finishes downloading. But more and more weapon, more weapons, more and more enemies. <laughs> but yeah, this is really awesome, guys. Mr. Handies. Rad Roaches. All these creepy looking enemies here. But guys, that's just... The, the tip of the iceberg and as you guys can see there's still so much that I can show you guys in this guide two pages full so as, as we went through you know you got crafting you get the inventory apparel power armor sets aid junk all this information here in this guide so if you guys are on the fence about getting this get it now if you guys want to enjoy the game be the best in the game get it now so it even tells you the event quests as well everything so you know, this book is absolutely worth $60. So thick, so much juicy content inside this book. Guys, pick it up right now. But I am The Loot Gamer, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. But in my next video, I'll be showing you guys some really cool gaming loot. As you guys know, I am The Loot Gamer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.